Okay, so you boot up your Dell and support assist says no bootable devices found. This is how I would troubleshoot this issue. First thing I'm going to do is uninstall any sort of USBs or media that you might have because your computer could be trying to accidentally boot off these. Next, hit power and tap on F2 to enter your BIOS settings because improperly set BIOS settings is the leading cause for boot issues. So zooming in, I'm going to click on boot configuration. Now, as you can see, my boot sync sequence, how it should be set is with Windows Boot Manager at the top. Um, if you don't have Windows Boot Manager, then you might need to uh, set your solid state drive or your hard drive to the top because sometimes the names can vary. But what we're trying to do is getting it to boot off their either Windows Boot Manager or off your solid state drive or hard drive that Windows is installed on. Next, this enable secure boot. This should be toggled on on. Let me show you what it looks like when it's on off. This is on off. We want this to, talk, to be on set to on because uh, it needs that in order to boot correctly. Also for the boot sequence, as you can see, all you have to do is use those up and down arrows in order to get it uh, to move up and down and be set correctly. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. And as always, if you find this helpful, like and share. Next, you want to hit apply changes if you've made any changes that are significant. Hit OK. And you can all, and then we're going to go ahead after hitting apply changes. We're going to go ahead and you can all, you, we're going to go ahead and hit that exit button. Now you're going to let your computer restart. It's common for it to go into some sort of preparing automatic repair because it had issues booting last time. So don't let that scare you. Uh, go ahead and let it do its little preparing automatic repair thing and restart it. And you're going to let it go through this whole sequence and we're going to restart the whole thing to see if it, it uh, helped or worked. Um, so don't be scared if it starts saying diagnosing your PC, go ahead and hit restart. Now if you find you immediately hit that boot error again um, or it never really starts up, that's okay. We're going to move on to the next step in the troubleshooting process. But if you do find after doing this that it boots up no problem at all, then you're most likely in the clear. Uh, so congratulations, you had the nice easy solution. But if you find it doesn't boot up, you have an error, okay, let's move on to the next step in the troubleshooting process. So with your computer completely off, we're going to hit the power button again and start immediately tapping on F12 to enter your boot menu. And what we're going to do is Dell, the reason why you bought a Dell and you didn't even re realize it, but one of the beautiful features it has is built-in diagnostic software. So we're going to go ahead and select that. It says Diagnostics. Click on it. And boom. It's going to start scanning your computer, stress testing your hard drive, your RAM, and important things like that. So we can see if your hard drive or solid-state drive has failed because a leading cause for a boot error like this is a hard drive or solid state drive failing. So as you can see, my test passed successfully. If that's the case, then in this scenario, you would need to reinstall your operating system. We have a video down below in the comments on how to do that. You'll make a bootable USB and you'll install the operating Windows 11 again, um, or the operating system as it's called with this bootable USB. Now, if your diagnostic said your hard drive failed, or could not be read. Well, if it could not be read, you might want to try what we call reseeding, which is re-plugging it in. We have a video that shows you how to get your hard drive in the comments, the one on installing a new hard drive. You can watch this to see how it's done. Next, if you find that your hard drive or solid state drive, whatever you have, fails the diagnostic, then the next step would be to go ahead and replace this hard drive or solid state drive. And we have a video on both down below how to open up your computer and replace this drive and reinstall Windows 11. And don't panic, it's not as hard as you would think. Uh, but anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out. Please like, subscribe, use that super thanks button, visit our Amazon store, and check out our merchandise and website.